Corsa. 1965, you can tell it's a 65 Corsa because it has a pinstripe, which GM only offered for one year on the Chevy Corvairs. This is a beautiful red color. It's a Corsa, four-speed bucket seats, convertible top, wire hubcap, silver cove. It's turbocharged, 180 horsepower. Badge was changed in 66. One year for the round badge, and the 66 badge had a horizontal line through it, somewhat like the Chevrolet bow tie with a beautiful 65 Corsa convertible. Fire engine red, arrest me red. Corsa turbocharged. Gotta love it. What a classic. It's for sale, but you're not going to buy this cheap. This is a real high dollar car and worth every penny. And I'm not going to buy it because it's arrest me red and I'm afraid of that. I like them faded and a little scratched up. That car is too nice. 1965, what a great representation of 65's this year. 65 Monza. Two-door hardtop, member of Corsa, power glide transmission, 110 high horsepower engine. The oil cooler is right there, engine oil cooler. I don't know if any of you know this, but all engines use oil as part of their cooling system. The Corvair used an external cooler attached to the engine, fan forced through it, cools the oil. What a beautiful car, the Concourse. What a great 65 Monza. Papa J, 1965, four-door sports sedan. This car has got air conditioning. It goes into the counter run, I think. I see him go around the track in Detroit. It's an automatic transmission. Four-door sports sedan. 14-inch wheels with wire hubcaps. It's in the concourse. It gets driven a lot. It's got air conditioning. Fan-forced. Chromate coated carburetors. Modified. Look at this. This fellow has cut the top of the frame, notched it, to put the air conditioner lines down low. GM put them down. Hmm. Wait a second. It's not air conditioning. Oil cooler. External mounted oil cooler. Aha! I thought it was the air conditioning line. They go down the right side, just inside the right rocker panel. This is not a sand in compressor. It is a let me see if I can read that name. It is an impossible to read name, but it's a different air conditioning compressor that Mr. Papa J highly recommends. The tightening strut is custom made, mounted to the idler pulley. Papa J was here. What a beautiful work of art. Papa J. Silver Cove, like a Corsa. It's a four door sports sedan. Cool them off air conditioning. Turbocharged Corvair Silver Cove indicates it's a Corsa. 1966. Last year for the Corsa. Last year for the 140. This has got a 69. This is a 69. How do you like that? With a 66 style engine, or at least a sticker. I gotta figure out what this is. It's got a built in regulator on the alternator. I just saw that as I was passing by. No external voltage regulator. It's got air shocks with a filler right there, spring ring battery cables. Made to look like General Motors would have made a Corvair Corsa in 1969. Here's the window sticker. Soft gray tinted windshield, special paint, Tropic Turquoise, special suspension, F41, positive traction, heavy duty alternator, 180 turbocharged, four speed, special steering equipment, mag wheel cover, spare tire lock, sport instrumentation, AMF, and multi black metal trim. Wow. Just the way Chevrolet would have made a Corvair in 1969 had they continued on with the performance. But that was replaced by the obnoxious SS350 Camaros and 396 Camaros and the Yenko and Baldwin Motion 427 Camaros and the lowly Corvair with 164 cubes and 180 horsepower. Just didn't cut it. Even though it will outhandle any of those cars any day, rain or sun. Beautiful custom velour interior. What a great 69 Corsa Monza last year production. I bet this car is clean underneath. Let's take a little peek at what we have underneath. Aluminum oil pan. 
air shocks. This car is cleaner underneath than it is on top. Silicone valve cover gasket, painted with love and care. Silver painted cove, not the chrome. What a great car. 1965 Corsa two-door coupe. Who are you calling a lug nut? <laughs> Halogen headlights, 65 again. Wood wheel, four-speed, custom seat belts, low profile mag wheels, 65 only tail lights, dual exhaust. Great car. SWF 421, black plate California car. Best place to buy cars? West Coast. I was junking them 30 years ago because they were broken in the middle. And here we are 30 years later. What a beautiful 66 Monza convertible. Oh, do I love this gear of car. Four speed manual shift, wood steering wheel. Beautiful white interior. It's a beautiful restoration. The top is all wrinkled because they ride it with the top down, just like it was meant to be. 140 horsepower, high compression, four carburetors, dual exhaust. Welded exhaust, just the way GM made it. Correct dip on the right pipe. It's from Pennsylvania. So they only get a couple months of winter. And was it 10 months of summer in Pennsylvania, or has I got it backwards? Yeah, there's no 10 months of summer. 10 months of winter, that's right. Oh, by July 4th, it's just about over. What a beautiful convertible. What a great car. 66 Monza four-speed convertible. Every word. Corsa. 1966, the finest year for the Corvair. As long as you don't mind the clunky Saginaw four-speed shifter, we got some rally wheels, fire engine, red bucket seats, AM FM telescopic wheel. Four speed floor shift, the Chevrolet wooden shift knob. I love it. Tan top. Oh, beautiful tan top. Does this accent the car well? GM offered a choice of colors white or black. This fellow went for a tan top. It's a 66 Corsa turbocharged. The exhaust pipe is a little bit shorter than GM would have specified with a huge turbo muffler, aluminum oil pan. What a great 66 Corsa. 69? Yes. 1969 Corvair Monza last year. Telescopic. Telescopic. See, hit that knob. And whoop. Telescopic standard wheel. Whoops. Uh oh. What have I done? Oh, shouldn't have touched it. Telescopic wood wheel. No, nope, just the plastic one. No wood wheel for this one. AM FM radio. Remote control mirror. Different on 69 than the earlier years. The VIN on this car. Last four of the VIN. The last five is 00681. This is a very early 69 convertible. <coughs> Another Corsa. Blacked out. Sport mirrors. Beautiful velour interior. Wood wheel. Four-speed manual transmission. No badges. Darth Vader-like. Dual glass packs, headers, polished, lowered suspension, pivot geometry. Not sure what that part's called, but it's there. Beautiful Corsa Chrome. What a great Corsa wood wheel, four-speed. 1965. Darth Vader. How do you like that? I was just thinking it. That's what this fellow calls it. Darth Vader. Blacked out. 66. Corsa convertible. Candy apple red or brandy wine. What a great shade of red. White interior. Four speed manual. Tacking gauges like all Corvairs had when you specified the Corsa option. Deluxe stainless steel seat belts. Turbocharged. Forced induction. It's a Willow Run car. The W right there in the VIN, the W indicates it was manufactured in Willow Run. Huge GM assembly plant for building cars. Got the Silver Cove. It's a non-stock color. 
chrome exhaust tip. Beautiful car. <laughs> I've been caught. I'm in trouble now. LED taillights, too, for safety.